you sorely impressed? You might even take a photograph. Now please keep the camera on the bird. Don't take any pictures of me taking pictures. Yes, look, it's, it looks like it's 35 miles away, even with a 300 mil lens. With your super zoom there, you've got full frame. for that. Now, you can see if you are an American, or perhaps you're not an American, but you're an ornithological enthusiast, you can see how similar this bird is to an American bald eagle. Now, I'm just interested into as to why he should be sitting there. There might be a few catfish in this water, but I don't think so because it went very dry. An adult bird, definitely. Something like this, everyone. He's got his feathers fluffed out to stay warm. I felt I was casting some kind of aspersions on um, the fish eagle and indeed all the way down to their feet belong to. <laughs> he calls you. He will lead you to something that might do you harm. People, this is a fantastic sighting of this bird. It really is. It's it's not common. Darren, you want to know about fish eagle subspecies in this area? No, not officially, just this one. It's lovely light now, diffused through the grey clouds. I'm just going to open my bird app, people. The sound of the fish eagle is the best possible call. I'll play it for you, everybody. Just in Isn't that lovely? <coughs> and to many people, that's the sound of a bush holiday right there. We looked a little of these things, I'm pretty sure they don't occur in subspecies, but the, the genus is quite a difficult word to say um, because it's got four vowels in a row. Haliaetus. 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 I'm just going to just quickly check what else they've been seen eating. We know they eat fish, obviously. We also know that they eat um, they will scavenge a bit for chicks. They will also 